Welcome to Versus the World, my series going over every titan's interaction with every other titan. Episode 2, Scorch. Right now, Scorch is in a fairly tough spot, and he's one of the worst titans out there right now, but that doesn't mean you can't do well with him. His kits are meant to work well together, so if you can use them in such a way that they will complement each other, you will do well with Scorch. You don't need to be afraid of those Ions and North Stars out there. It's important to remember, you shouldn't just be using Scorch and trying to rely on just one ability or your primary. You should never just walk towards a Titan with your Flame Shield out. It's never a good idea, especially if you plan on wasting your boost to try and get there. All you're doing by bum-rushing someone with Flame Shield is putting yourself out in the open with no defensive when you inevitably run out. First up is Ion, and this fight does favor Ion over Scorch quite a bit as well. This fight I'm going to be showing you in an open field, and then I'll be showing you in a more secure area for Scorch. But in an open field like this, you're going to want to be focusing on staying in cover. Hug those trees, hug whatever you can to get cover, and lead them around it. You don't need to leave. Note how I push up with Flame Shield here. I don't just keep chasing, I break off when I get to the next group of trees, and then I continue to use that group as cover. Push when you can, but only when you know you can. Remember, don't just run at them with Flame Shield. Notice how I'm hugging these trees and not exposing myself too much. Use your Flame Traps as Area of Denial, and keep the eye on where you want her. Scorch is all about Area of Denial, and you need to use that to your advantage. I'm moving up when I can, where I can, and keeping the Ion in a position that I want them to be in. Now I have her in a position where she has two choices. She can either run into my flame shield or go through my flame wall. Either way, she's gonna take damage. Ion really isn't all that scary, just use cover. Now let's take a look at somewhere that's more comfortable from Scorch, a very laney map like Dry Dock. Notice how the Ion is now stuck in a corner because of the way I placed my Flame Trap. In this situation, it's worth it to walk through your own Flame Wall and take some of that damage in order to force her out. She'll take more damage comparatively by walking through your Flame Trap or going into your Flame Shield than you will by a quick little trip in your Flame Wall. Now that I'm running out of Flame Shield, I want to start moving back to some cover. I don't want to be left in the open for her to be able to shoot at me. I also trap her in that same corner again. You don't need to go to the Ion, make the Ion come to you. So, as a review for the fight against Ion, Use cover as much as you can, use your flame traps as area of denial. Don't get yourself stuck in the open, and make sure you push only when you can. Next up is North Star the Scorch Bane, and you don't really need to actually be that afraid of this fight. North Star is heavily favored in this fight to a ridiculous degree, but that doesn't mean you can't win. You don't need to fight the North Star in an open field, bring her somewhere that you can fight in. You choose the encounters that you get into. We're imagining a situation where this North Star has to attack you, so retreat into an area that you're comfortable fighting in. You don't need to be in open ground for this. And the only map in the game that you're not going to be able to easily get cover in is Forward Base Kodai. And why are you playing Scorch and Forward Base Kodai in the first place? So our goal here is essentially the same as Ion. We brought North Star into a lane. Now we're going to focus on area of denial and slow damage over time with the Thermite Launcher. On a map like this, you may have feel the urge to get into a peak snipe fight with a North Star, but like I said in my Ion video, 
do not do that. If you continue to peek corners in this type of fight, you're going to die because the North Star can do more damage than you like that. Pick your encounters, try to trap the North Star, and deal steady damage over time while you're doing that. Notice that the North Star leaves here. Why would she be leaving? To get a better position on you. So, move into a position that you like better than the one you currently have. When you have that position, just wait for it. Disclaimer, I do not condone bum rushing with face shield. Notice I always have available cover to peek into when I run out of flame shield. So as a review for North Star, it's basically the same as the Ion fight, but you need to pick the encounters that you get into. Don't let the North Star choose them. If you need to run away with your tail between your legs, run away. It's better to survive. The Ronin fight is going to be a bit of a mix between Ion and North Star. We're going to prefer to fight him in this open field, but we're going to treat him somewhat like a North Star because of his speed. We're going to keep using our flame traps as area of denial and keeping him where we want him. Keep hugging those trees like we did with the Ion fight. I'm at the same group that I was last time. You can see the Ronin coming directly at me now, and I'm not ready for that kind of relationship yet, so I'm going to go ahead and pop smoke to let my abilities recharge a little bit more. Continuing over to the other side where he's going to be going anyway, holding flame shield so that I can defend myself from his inevitable shotgun blasts. Notice his execution push with flame shield. I'm not able to do it and I don't get the execution, but I have another pair of trees to be able to defend myself on. In either case, he comes straight at me anyway. On a map like Dry Dock, we're going to treat Ronin like Ion, but I'm going to use my Flame Shield primarily for defense. You can see how many abilities and how much damage I'm actually soaking up with this Flame Shield. That's what it's for. Now we're putting a Flame Trap down for Area of Denial, but we're not instantly lighting it. We don't have to yet. Now the Ronin faces behind me. He's now in an area that's more suited to him than me, so I'm going to immediately back up from that. In that room, I don't have cover and he can easily avoid my flame traps, so that's not something I want to fight with. He phases through that trap, but now that leaves him in a position where he can either go into my flame shield or my flame trap. He picks the worse option. So as a review, like you should always be doing, make sure you stay in cover and have a way to defend yourself. As Scorch, you are on the defensive here. Remember that. Your main source of damage here is your Thermite Launcher. Now it's time for Tone, and Tone is favored somewhat heavily in this fight. Because of her particle wall, I'm going to make the decision to bring her into an area that I would rather fight in. She can make pop-up cover wherever she wants, so it's not safe to fight her in an open field. Bring her into an area that you would rather fight her in. Watch for those rockets. There's a little notification at the bottom of your screen that tells you when the tone is locked on. When she is, fan your flame shield a little bit to wait for those rockets to come in. Block that damage. Tone's in a great spot for a flame shield push now, but I'd rather just block her in and then use my flame shield. Now she has to back up into my flame trap while I'm pushing her with flame shield. I don't really have many notes for this fight, I would just suggest to treat it like Ion. One important thing is to hug the corner so that it makes it harder for Tone's rockets to find you.
So in a review, I suggest treating this fight like Ion. But Tone is more dangerous to you than Ion is. Try to get into a more laney position, a position that you're better fighting in. Legion is a big fat titan which makes him very susceptible to flame shield. I do not recommend just bum rushing him with flame shield, but do attempt to get close to him and use your area of denial skills. Once you get into a legion's face with flame shield, it's going to be very very hard for him to get out of it. And when he does, he will have taken a lot of damage doing it. On a map like Dry Dock, where Scorch likes fighting in, it's basically the same deal, but you have to also recognize that sometimes you are going to have to back off with Flame Shield, or else you will be punished for it. Whenever you push with Flame Shield, make sure there's cover near you for you to be able to duck into. Watch, now that I'm running out of Flame Shield and I don't have a boost, I instantly start moving back into cover to be safe. This fight favors Scorch, and Flame Shield's very good here, but you still need to take Legion as a real threat. If you are fighting him at long range, try to reposition and get him into a fight area better for you. Scorch versus Scorch is all about map knowledge and knowing where the fire is. You have two main goals here, keep moving and keep out of the fire. Keep to your cover like you did with Ion and Tone and all the rest. Use your flame traps as area of denial, but keep in mind that he's doing the same exact thing. Because this fight goes essentially the same way on dry dock, I'm going to cut it out of the video for time's sake. As review, keep moving, keep doing damage, and stay behind cover. And for the love of God, don't do this. Now I'll be honest, there's not many fights I would choose Scorch for in a 1v1, but there is one thing Scorch is very good for.